this is not gonna be well this is probably gonna be a going on series but after i finish paper mario but this is just like a short video to stuff honorable that crash insane trilogy is coming to the switch july 10th and i'm so hyped for that i, I can just play crash bandicoot right here i can also play um what is it uh wrath of cortex but that's not the trilogy so but dr cortex yeah so but it's still crap anyway so let's go ahead and play crash yeah so the reason why i have the frames per second up there is because i'm actually playing this on the emulator because yeah because we you have uh not hacks uh mods because mods for life so i'm gonna be able to play this game so we just gotta play some guys let's go so this is the first crash game and this is the hardest out of the bunch what have we got? and i actually beat it i couldn't beat that dlc level in the insane trilogy i did have that for a while but now it's gone because i don't have a playstation no more but it doesn't matter now since crash is coming to the what switch have we got? yeah boy in this game you can't die and it's just so many things you just can't do and you just rather hunt us in on insane trilogy so uh i went on i went on amazon and i went on and searched up uh, insane trilogy and it had the option of having it on the xbox pc or switch confirming that it is coming to those other platforms so if you want to buy the game you can also buy it on We don't really have no information on that game. We just know that it's either a uh, poor or a good game. And based on the fact that we saw, uh, that we saw, uh, Breath of the Wild, you know, I'm hoping that's a new game. I was also saying I don't want a new game because I'm not used to the combos in Smash 4. But I would like to have a new game because I will have a new experience and stuff. And we need that new experience. And then also, uh, confused about is the fact that they're remastering uh Bowser's uh, story but not partners in time like they just skip over a game like I don't understand that like I thought that would never happen like you can't just skip a game over just because the fans want it I mean it's fine I mean do whatever the fans want but still it's just kind of messed up just to skip over an entire game especially when it's not even that bad and it me personally, here's the rankings on Mario Kart games. So you have a uh, my favorite has to be uh, Bowser's Story, 
because that's my childhood, and I think that's like the hardest and longest of uh, uh, Mario and Luigi game. Then second is Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. That game is like awesome. It's good, but the 3DS version is way too good. The original, so I I just prefer the Game Boy one just because you don't feel nerfed in that game. You feel OP. Well, um, they just nerf so badly in the last game. It's not even funny. And but yeah, and then you have a uh, uh what is it? Partners in Time. Yeah, like I said, that game was bad. I actually really enjoyed the game. And then the, uh, after that, it is a Paper Jam. I like the fact that you can play Paper Mario. Like, that idea is cool. But it's just the experience is kind of bad. I mean, Face Not with, Bowser, with Paper Bowser and Bowser is fine to me. But at least make the levels, like, more new. go around the world like it just feels bland but the battles they're, they're not bad i just wish they were more creative instead of those recurring enemies and then you have the uh worst uh modern Luigi game which is the uh i think that's actually the worst for me paper jam but uh is there another modern Luigi game oh yeah dream team dream team yeah uh Dream Team was very enjoyable. I, I liked it. I was planning on getting it like back when it came out, but the Wii U was out at the time, and I have no idea to like commercials, so I decided to get the Wii U instead of the game. And I got it like years later. And I, I enjoyed the game. I really did. And the final boss was. I don't really know what was up that boss. Like, it was way easier if I just brought down his defense with the thing. Like, it was way easier than that. What the heck? But Dream Team, that's... I'm gonna have to put that in fourth. He's in there, I'm gonna Paper Jam at the bottom. Because it's just the game inside of the bunch. Same thing with Paper Mario. You have a... Uh, Stop in Because that's me more memory. Then you have Super Paper Mario, just like that. That's the first uh, Paper Mario game you can actually play as Luigi. Then you got uh, Paper Mario 64, which is the best. And then you have uh, Color Splash. Yes, it's not the original, but it's quite enjoyable sometimes. Then Sticker Star. Sticker Star was just bland, boy. Bland. And I thought the blinks and Color Splash was going to be bland, but they're actually was very creative. But you still needed the key item to find them, but it was more easier to find it. You even have the tool to find it. There wasn't that much in the game compared to my like, sticker star. So, all in all, it's definitely an improvement, but still not quite there. But, you know, pop it. This is crap. I know, freaking Martin G. So, yeah. I'm, s I'm excited. Like, I'm. I already knew the game was uh, coming to the Switch like a while back, but I didn't think it was actually coming. I thought it was just like some guy, but it's actually coming, so I was excited. And <laughs> I almost played a mess out of that game. Like, and this time I'm actually gonna try to 100% it because it's way easier in the remasters. And I also heard that they're gonna have a new Crash game in 2019. And I hope, I hope it's insane, I mean not insane, no, I'm talking Twin Sanity, because that's like my favorite Crash game out of the three, right beside like, uh, Crash 3. I would just love them to remaster Twin Sanity, because the game has so much cut content, that it could have been longer and more enjoyable. But yeah, but a lot of people are asking for a Crash racing game, and I mean, I don't mind that, but I, I just like Twin Sanity better, and like, we already have a racing game, guys, like, we have plenty of racing game, I mean, what's the difference with a uh, Crash uh, Racing, like, I really don't understand why they want that back so badly, but I guess whatever they want, but I would just love whatever to remaster Twin Sanity, and also the fact that, uh, freaking people are 
I'm trying to get a Spyro or a remaster, and I was like, I, I, I guess that makes sense since like he was in uh, Skyrim because of Warcraft, and then he got his remaster. So it makes sense, but I never grew up with a Spyro. The only game I played related to him was like a, the Game Boy one, and that's it. I just never enjoyed Spyro. In fun fact, I actually enjoyed the gameplay of Crash way like it's probably my favorite favorite kind of gameplay in any platform. Like Mario's like a close second, but I just enjoyed the Crash gameplay way better. Like it's trying it's. It's like 2D and 3D at the same time, and it's just, I just love the gameplay, it's, and I just love Crash, like, Crash is my boy, I grew up with Crash, I played, uh, I played, uh, Crash 3, never played 1 or 2, because I didn't, my brothers and sisters never even knew the games exist, and I was like, how you knew that game existed, but you didn't know about that game existing, so, like, come on now, like, I know it was hard to tell what games, but if you got Crash 3, knowing that's a sequel to other games, you should like try to find those games. And I was like, what okay, have we got? I kind of understand it, but not to a full. And then Twin Sanity, I enjoyed that game. And then you do have the uh, Titan series. And I never really enjoyed it. That because I had to play it on a PSP, which is a PlayStation Portable. But the joystick was broken, and it, it was just not enjoyable with the broken joystick. So it was just bad. But if I, and the, the gameplay was, it was a beat 'em up, and I didn't really enjoy it. And the redesign is terrible. The only I like in that game is, uh. No, there's not really any redesigns I like in that game. Dingo Dial looks like he should be in the 1980s. Cortez looks like he just. a leg day entirely. And Tiny sounds. He looks so muscular. And then this dude's gonna have the tiniest voice. What about Literally. So I'm like, what the Tiny what happened? What? Excuse me. So even if you have three up mats, you can still die from a plan. That doesn't make any sense. I was invincible. Oh bull crap. But yeah, I just don't I don't know what they're doing with the Titan series. And well, they just completely changed Uka Uka boy. He don't even look the same. He looks like a totally different character. And then Octopop got some more chin on his self. So what do we got? This, why? Why y'all do this to these characters? And then Crash doesn't look that different. All he does, all they do is add some kind of color to his skin. And then just, uh, just change his body just a little bit, not drastically. But that's that's basically it. And then the funny thing is that they changed Coco design in Titan in the sequel. Yeah, they did that. They changed her design twice in the same series. And I was like, what the heck? What is this? But the uh, the sequel to the game is actually more enjoyable. But it's still bad. And then freaking and that was Activision. That was Activision's fault. That was Activision's fault. Because they added Crash to uh to the Skyland, and the people who have who owns Crash now is uh wait is this still Activision? Hold on, back. Sorry for the delay. And I forgot what I was saying. I totally forgot what I was saying. But yeah, um, uh, the people who I think Crash is still owned by Activision, but the people who developed Crash. Like, the Crash games the remasters was Vagarious Vision, and those are the people who worked on the GameCube of Crash, and they under they actually really good with Crash. Like I fully trust them that Activision what they did to him, because those are the people who are responsible for the Titan series. So no, no, and the people who made Crash Four, 
and then Crash into Insanity was a uh, a totally different company called uh, what was it? Uh, Fairy Tales or something like that. And I died right into his butt. But I don't. I mean, I don't understand why Crash 4 did that badly. Like, it's not even that bad. Is this because it's trying too hard to beat Crash 3? Because I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. Because I, I don't know what y'all talking about. But Crash 3 is lit. So, I don't understand why y'all saying that that's a bad thing. Was trying to be too hard. I mean, sure, uh, some of the things are kind of stupid. But they also fix some things. The only stupid thing is that you only fight Crunch in that game instead of like any other character. Alright, so the last character, the last level I'm gonna play is Rolling Stones. And then, like I said, I was only supposed to play like five, but that would have been way too short. But yeah. This, this is supposed to be a tribute to uh, Crash uh, coming to the Switch. So, let me, let me just say this one last thing. You have Sonic, Pac-Man, Mega Man, Crash, Rayman, and Undertale. You have all these companies on Nintendo. Isn't that crazy? Like you, like, you have literally every threat that was to bring to Mario. Now they're all in one console. That's so crazy. Because you have a Sonic game, you have a... Wait. I... I well, I don't know about Mega Man. I think Mega Man may be coming to Switch. So I heard that they were supposed to be making like a Mega Man 11, but it hasn't been like officially confirmed to be in like the Switch. But I'm pretty sure they would because like, wait, I, I think I made it certain that there wasn't. I don't know. And then you have freaking, you just have all these characters in one place. You have every threat to Mario. Now they're just one big happy family. Which is a good thing, you know? Sonic, Mario, and Sonic are friends. Now you have Crash come to the Switch, you know? Everything's all good, you know? No more competitors, alright? The only real competitor is, uh, we gotta save Ubisoft. Not Ubisoft, we gotta save Rare. Because Rare is forced to make these so trash games. Don't worry, Rare. We still believe in you, don't worry. Don't worry. You're the you're the beautiful people who made Donkey Kong Country, uh, Conker's Birthday, you made, uh, Banjo Kazooie series, you made all these great games, and you made the Donkey Kong Country series, which are amazing soundtrack. I can listen to the Donkey Kong soundtrack all day, every day, man. This is beautiful. Like, it, this brings tears to my eyes, you know? Just because that music is good. It is perfect absolutely perfect like that's probably my favorite soundtrack of all time like this is so good so good man anyway let's go ahead and finish this level everything looks so pixelated and i don't know what people were saying about crash's model in this game it actually looks kind of fine to me it looks kind of better to me than the other ones he just looks like he just lost weight and the uh crash two, 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 three but um yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching this was just a little tribute the next time i'll probably play crash on the channel is like july 10th because i plan on doing switch uh switch games in july 10th because i tested out my recording on the switch and it was all right I mean, it's not perfect, but it's, it's alright, I guess. That's gonna have to wait till July 10th, and then we're gonna continue playing Crash. I call dibs on Let's Play Crash. Crash is my boy, alright? I'm gonna try to 100% as well. It's gonna be a 100% playthrough, so... Well, that's gonna be actually quite a challenge, but... I gotta do this. I, I gotta do this. So... Uh, yep. So thank you guys for watching, and next time I will be probably be playing Paper Mario. So yeah, see you guys later.